Preparations have already begun to move Lolita from the tiny tank at Miami's Aquarium that she's called home for years to her home waters in the Pacific Northwest. But some of her former trainers are concerned and she won't survive the 3,000 mile journey as Local 10's Christina Vasquez reports. Jenna Simpson. We are the people that actually worked with Toki. We loved her. We dedicate our life to her. Trisha Nicewitz. Tokate has been around humans for decades now. And Carly Gonzalez. We're going to fight this. Who say the All Ones worked at the Miami Aquarium. <laughs> Express deep admiration for Toki. Since I met her, and until the day I breathe my last breath, I will be advocating for her. A recently retired geriatric orca with the stage name Lolita. The transportation is my number one concern. Toki does not do well with change. All of her trainers know that. Everyone that has spent time with her knows that. And share grave concerns. It's a death sentence to Toki. About the recently announced intent to relocate Toki to her home waters off the Pacific Northwest. She's only ever known eating from humans. She's only ever had restaurant quality fish. We're talking about salmon pieces this big, gutted, placed into her mouth. The Dolphin Company and nonprofit Friends of Toki say they have an agreement. Specific details of their plan unclear. I don't think anybody understands the level of stress that will be put on Toki. And that's what we're all here to do is to advocate for what's in Toki's best interest, not for what makes people feel good or makes a company look good. And keep in mind that any plan for relocation would need approval from federal regulators. You can learn more about that. You can hear more from them and you can watch Thursday's news conference and our related coverage of what company officials had to say on our website. That's local 10. Dot com. Reporting live for you tonight outside the Miami Aquarium. I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.